All right, we're up to the last um, part of this exercise, and that is to create forms, right? How do we actually create forms? So in 8-5, so if I look at my, um, my files, what we want to do is open the, <coughs> the database, which is 1-5. So um, I'm going to double click on that file. Okay. And in the exercise itself, what we want to do is we want to start using the forms object. Right? So uh, to use the forms object, it's a good idea. We can have forms of single tables, but if we have relationships between forms, then we can uh, create form subform memberships. Right? Uh, so a basic basic form would be using one one uh, one table for entry and then a form subform requires a relationship between between tables to actually function correctly right so let's have a look here and then in the in the last bit I'll just show you very quickly about formatting um, so let's go back to our database so here's our database and you can um, make sure that you enable the content uh, we have the three tables here and let's have a look to, to see what sort of relationships exist between it so database tool relationships so all the relationships are in place so I can literally now uh, create forms for data entry for this uh, for these tables so rather than going directly to a, to a table and entering data in this data sheet view I can actually create a nice looking form to so I can add this information through the form into the tables okay so let's close the relationship view now I'm going to create a form create and um, if if I'm if I'm going to create a form uh, it's an ideal ideal uh, ideally you want to use the form wizard so I'm just going to do a form wizard here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form which is uh, the client with their memberships right? so I'm going to get client data across so I could just hit both of these and all of the parameters uh, are shown on my on my form but I, I don't want to see all of them so I'll just go up the top here and I, I don't want to see the, the primary key really not interested in it, and I'll, I'll uh, leave all the rest of the data for the client um, <coughs> to be put into the form but because my form the form wizard because I've only entered now uh, data concerning my client, I know there's a relationship between client and membership. So I want to show the membership in my client client form. So I would, in the form wizard, now pick the next table or the table that I want to get data from, and I want the membership, and I want to show in my client form the, well, basically I can put the start date, and whether it's been paid, and also want to see uh, what what program it is. So, in other words, the category from from my um, from my form. Uh, let me just check over here. Yep. So, program membership start date so forth. Yep. Now, uh, yep. so let's get rid of this. ID because we don't want to see that, but I want to actually see the category of this of this uh, program, which means I need to go to program and actually see the category that they're registered for. Right. And I think in the instructions, if I remember correctly, we can go down to the program. The category was all we needed. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now if I go next. Now I can see that my client information will be up the top, plus uh, <coughs> with a subform, as you notice here, form subform of the categories or memberships that this this uh, client has gone through. Right? So I can go next, and I want to see it in in uh, tabular form. Oh, actually no, I want to see the subform in a data sheet for not tabular. Sorry, uh, it's ideal to actually have sub uh, subforms listed as um, because they're on the many side to see them as row as a data sheet like a spreadsheet. So I'll go next, and I'm going to just leave these guys <coughs> um, for this example. But ideally, you want to really um, <coughs> um, 
uh, change the names here uh, of your forms so that so that they reflect when they're correct uh, when they're created. So I can actually say client membership. And here I'll say client membership. So then when we actually create these forms, I can refer to them because they'll be nicely grouped by using uh, the same kind of naming all the way through. So if I do finish here, you'll actually see the two forms are now created where I do client membership with the main form sub form. So here is my main form and in in the middle here is my sub form for this uh, client. Okay, so that's sort of a quick way of creating a form. Now, areas of the form that you must remember: uh, the header, where we can put banners, logos, and so forth. Uh, and down here, you actually see the record navigator, and this bottom record nav navigator is the one for the client, so the for the main uh, records. And then we have a subform where here I've got a record navigator for my subform. So if I had a whole list of uh, IDs, let's just flick through and see what happens here. Okay, so we can actually see for each client what their current membership is. It's paid and what what category they're actually up to. Okay. And if I had more records here, I can actually go skip through with this navigator here as well. Okay. So that's creating a, a form. But what about uh, actually modifying this form? And remember in the table, when we had table, up, up top here we had a design view and a data sheet view. With a form, we have form view, layout view, and design view. So I can even go right down to a very raw design view to see the header portion, the details part, and plus I can even put a footer in here. So I can expand this out and put a footer in here. I can insert different types of objects here into the bottom. So let's say I wanted to put in here uh, my name. Right? So I would click on the text label box. Not this this guy here. Text box means it must be connected to some data within the t within a table somewhere in the database. Right. So just for simple sake, I'm just going to say put a label in here. I'm going to put the label in here and just put my name in. Okay, so if I actually run this form, view it, I can see in the footer, I, I could put images in here and so forth, so I can print this, you can make it nice uh, printable as well if I really needed to. You can put instructions down here and so forth. But let's go back to uh, layout or <coughs> layout type view, and in, in this view, um, I can still edit things, but um, I, I don't get to the raw raw um, you know the sliding things across the if I go back to home and I just go to design view design view I can I can manipulate you know certain sections all on their own right? I'm not going to go into too much detail about this but um, let's say um, if I had uh, like a text entry here I can actually go into uh, my format and I can say you know capitalize it right? which we learnt before, or make it all lowercase. But, um, I can also change different things like background colour of this box or even put borders on it. Right? So I can put a bottom border with solid uh, what site, what type. I can put effects on it, so you know, make it a you know, sunken or etched or let's say it's sunken. Right? So if I actually view it, you can see that it now looks 3D. So you get full uh, control in design view with the property sheet here. Okay. All right. Um, I won't go into too much other detail apart from let's just insert a picture in here and I'm just going to grab a uh, let's say an image. Right? <coughs> where, where is where is the image going to be? Oh, let's just put it in here. <coughs> what, what is the image? And remember previously we had um, if I went to my work directory MIT, and remember, you downloaded a logo, right? Uh, so if I go to here and actually grab this logo, I could put the logo within my images. Alternatively, I can just drag and drop the image in here. Uh, but uh, you can see roughly, like you can make these forms look a bit, uh, bit more presentable. 
um, if if you really wanted to spend time on you know, formatting the properties of the forms a bit more. Now, uh, before I close this, I'll save this form. Yeah, save that. Before I close this, if I go to uh, database relationships, you notice there is um, <coughs> um, there is also that there is a uh, relationship between program and membership, so it's one to many, and a relationship between client to membership, which is one to many. Uh, I can use because there is a, re a direct relationship between the two tables. I can use a very quick way of creating a form, uh, form subform within Access by just using. If I close this guy, I can go create by using this button here, which is to create a create a form, and uh, <coughs> by highlighting the table which has the primary key. So let's say the program. And I know program had the primary and uh, the foreign key was your membership. If I click on this button here, Access will actually grab that relationship and create a, a form for program along with the sub form for membership. So I can just click in here and immediately see I've got program is the form and the sub form is the membership. So it's a very quick way of creating a form, but now I would spend a lot of time trying to manipulate this data to say, you know, I don't want to see this um, this program ID, so I'll delete that and shifting things around. So it's it, it's very quick to create, but a lot of time to format. But, uh, same deal with your other form as well. I'm not going to save that. <coughs> but if I go back to my form here, double click, uh, now is, is where you spend a lot of time manipulating, shuffling this stuff around to make it look better and more presentable. Okay. So I'm not going to cover all that, you can have a look at it for yourself, but that concludes the exercise for this week, and get ready for next week, but make sure that you actually do all the exercises, because I'm fairly certain you'll be doing all this in the test on week 12. Okay, see you guys.